Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to print this. What is this? It's a rocket, of course. So, being a Forbidden Planet fan, um, I don't know. I'm just stuck on these rockets. But there's a little bit of a purpose behind this rocket. This is a special rocket. This is not your normal uh, rocket. So, uh, we're going to talk about that. But before we do, I printed this out. 25% um, infill, uh, 0.1 layer height, printed out very nice. Uh, it was also printed in um, glow in the dark PLA. Um, had some reasons for all this. I'll share with you in the uh, when you follow it up. But I tell you what, first thing we do, let's watch a time lapse of this printed. Um, it's kind of going to be kind of a unique time lapse. I'm not, eh, yeah, I'm going to say it's going to be unique. It's going to be a little bit different because we're going to try some picture in picture. I'm doing some multi camera stuff with uh, time lapses now. So, anyways, let's go to time lapse. Okay, welcome back. So, about this rocket. Uh, well, first let's let's see about popping it off the bed a little bit. It is uh, it is on here. I am going to have to get the utility knife. Wow, that was a little bit getting it off the bed. So, anyways, um, got to tell you this stuff. Uh, Altrex, I'll put a link below for it, and then I get off eBay. Still working very well, probably into the 40 pr print on this for 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, uh, been happy with it. So, uh, but talking about the rocket. So first off, I've got to give a shout out to Bruce, aka Botmaster on Thingiverse, for getting this for me. So one of the things you might notice is that this this rocket is a little bit different. As you might remember, some of the uh, other ones that I've printed, and, and this is one of the ones off the Fabricator, and I've also did the other black one off the 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 Wan Hao, have this very sharp tip. And actually, um, I would I don't need the poker out of my diabetic test kit, uh, you know, if I want to use the point of this. And, and the problem is, is I printed these, these several of these rockets as tests. My grandson. My five-year-old grandson saw them and is like, wow, Grandpa, can I have one of those? But, um, hey, the old adage is somebody's eye is going to get knocked out by that thing. So it is just so sharp. So I wrote to Botmaster Bruce and said, hey, um, can I get the STL or do you have one with a rounded tip? And he said, sure. And he sent me this STL. He rounded the tip for me. And so this is going to be a present for my grandson to, to sit on his... Um, you know, dresser, nightstand, whatever, and it'll glow in the dark. Now, I did do it in 25% infill, and so it should actually glow in the dark pretty good. Um, it, it printed well. I don't know, but I, this is the second one I printed um, of this. I don't have the, the, the first one handy. And also on these fins down here at this lower level, I don't know if you can kind of see this. I tried to get up in the camera. There's there's some different strange uh, striations, and see, that's how sharp it is. I told you, it uh, wounded me already. Um, so, but actually, I don't know how that got cut. Uh, it's kind of like those one of those weird things. Just look at your hand, and you're, you're bleeding, and you don't know where it came from. Eh, I guess I'll live. I've, I've got a lot of extra blood. Anyways, uh, just as long as I don't get it on the rocket, I guess. Um, 
yeah, this is this is sort of interesting. I don't know if it's the filament or the one how. I am really looking forward to um, getting the new gear for the the one how. I did order um, extruders up there out of the camera frame. I did order a new gear for it. There was a lot of discussions on the different boards about the uh, the gearing, especially with the hot end, the change to the all metal hot end. So it was like eight or nine bucks. I just gave in and ordered it and uh, called it done. So um, that's coming. So I'll do a video on installing that. The other thing that I that I did is I got... Sorry about the audio dropping out. I'm also trying not to step in the blood and stop my finger from bleeding. I've also got um, a bunch of these. So uh, some folks wrote on the form that they were interested in adding a... Um, Emergency stop to the one house, so I said, what the heck? I mean, hey, safety's a good idea. So I went and bought several of these um, to put on various things, and hey, I'll go through a little emergency button madness. So uh, in a future episode, you know, keep a watch out. I, I will install this. I think, um, you know, basically I I'm just going to wire this in to kill the power supply on, on the 12-volt side. And so uh, that's probably how I'll do it. But, yeah, I'll show you how I do it when I do it. And, you know, you just slap this button, and the button goes down. It locks in, disengages. And then you have to twist it to unlock it and re-engage. So uh, pretty cool. So that's going to be coming. So we're going to have a lot of stuff coming up, too. I've also, um, with the fan up here, I've got to lower this. So the other thing I got going is I'm putting, I, I've uh, designed a, uh, to continue on a little bit with the Willy Wonka theme here, just to kind of, for a little humor and fun. I've just, I've designed a manifold to go on top of here, which is kind of unique, uh, that I'll be printing out and adding, and I'll do a quick video. And I also add it with the um, vent down here, vent pipe, to kind of further this look. I think it's kind of cool, so it's, it's sort of a stack, so I'll have that coming. Um... What else do I got in the works? Uh, I've got a lot of other projects in the works uh, outside of the one how to. I've uh, been doing a lot of stuff on the Fabricator Mini, been doing a lot of stuff on the CNC router, so just a lot of stuff in general. So, um, hey, if you found this interesting, uh, you know, hey, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. A lot of stuff coming, folks. A lot of varied stuff. Um, I've been filming a lot of videos that I haven't put up yet. Uh, just on different. I'm going to try to time some of their releases, so we'll, you'll see a lot more uh, various stuff coming out in projects. And um, also, uh, I know there have been some questions about is this stuff, um, remember this is the old wood filament stuff, is it water absorbent? So I'm going to try some experiments with it, and I'll post them online and you can kind of see the results. So uh, anyways, hey, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Just click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.